Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, a question for Mr. Uh, Beals to, to begin with. Uh, Mr. Beals, in your oral statement, you mentioned that when consumers discover that they are victims of identity theft, they may receive a free copy of their credit report. In your judgment, wouldn't it be a good idea if all consumers were to get a free copy of their credit report to catch identity thieves quicker and cor correct errors in a prompt manner? In other words, if people were able to gain access to their reports, they would see aberrations and dishonest uh, dealings. Does that make sense to you? Well, the, the Commission hasn't taken a position on that. I think that uh, there's no question that access to the credit report would help. Uh, I think under the existing statute, uh, consumers have access to a free credit report when they're most likely to need it, which is when they think there's fraudulent information or when they find out that, uh, no, I, I understand that, there's, that, that there's a problem. In general, given the significant increase in this horrendous type of crime, if people receive the reports, they would be able to spot the problem a lot quicker than is currently the case right now. I, I think one of the problems that we're hearing is that people don't know they're being ripped off for, in some cases, a relatively long period of time. And don't you think this would expedite the process? I, I think it certainly could. Okay, thank you. Mr. Cadigan, do you have thoughts on that? Uh, I would agree that uh, anything that would make uh, the consumer more aware of his right. current situation is a preventive tool. Okay, thanks. Uh, let me ask uh, Chief Viveret a question. You may not want to answer it. It may be too political, but that's okay. One of the debates, the key debate that's going on here, uh, has to do with federal preemption. Uh, some of us believe that we should have very strong standards for identity theft and other consumer problems in general at the federal level, but we should allow states to go forward in a more aggressive way if they want to. In fact, Maryland, as I understand it, is one of six states in the country right now which does require uh, free credit reports. Is, is that correct? I believe it is, yes, sir. Okay. Now, I'm not suggesting that Congress would take away Maryland's right to do that. I doubt that they would. But give us some experience about, give us your thoughts about a state that has been proactive in trying to protect consumers. Should states, in your judgment, continue to have that right? Well, the position of the International Association of Chiefs of Police is, is normally to keep the rights at the state level. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what you've heard is from attorney generals from all over this country who believe that they should have the right to be aggressive in protecting consumers, and you're hearing from police officers as well who want strong consumer protection. And I, I would note the point that the chief made a few moments ago, which is a very important point. I'm sure it's all over this country that local law enforcement is being overwhelmed. When somebody calls you up, that takes a heck of a lot of resources to address that problem. Is that correct, chief? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, so I would suggest, Mr. Chairman, that we want to be as aggressive as we can. And one way that we are aggressive is allowing states to go further than the federal government. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, panelists.